Great to meet you all. I'm Harshad Haridis, an ex-Silverite and an ex-Bawante. And as of this very moment, I'm sitting at the very room of, of Silverheads Public School. In fact, very proud to be back here, quite next to Father John Manaratura, with all due respects. And it's just that it feels really amazing to have met all my uh, extraordinary teachers who have got me to the point where I am. And that obviously stands for my parents, as well as the teachers who shapes the future of each and every single student. Now, when it comes to Father John Monarthur, one of those things that I'd love to say is that he has always been one of those factors which has changed or which has guided me to being what I am today. And for that matter, and for this, as of this movement, I am a pilot, in fact, a first officer uh, flying for one of the major airlines in UAE. And if you do ask me as to how the profession really stands for, it is a profession of great standard, great social value, but there are pros and cons as to what it really stands for. Some of those uh, cons as such could be the fact that you'd, it's, it's a bit more expensive rather than the normal course that you'd go for. And some people might say there is a factor of risk. Well, I'd say aviation as well as flight is the safest form of transportation. And as for the factors which pertain to it, it's just that when we're flying a commercial aircraft, we're always flying multi, multi-crew pilot. Meaning, it's not just one person who's flying an aircraft, but it's two. And if one person makes a mistake, the other person, in fact, the terms that's used as of like right now is pilot flying and pilot monitoring. Pilot flying flies the aircraft, pilot monitoring monitors the aircraft. Meaning, there are no chances of failure and hence the reason as to why it's the safest mode of transportation. Now, I'm not saying there's no failures related or any dangers related to aviation, but it is with no doubt one of the safest. And that is what I call aviation really is. And if you do ask me as to why go for this profession, I'd say it's just that I myself had an aviation background. Like my father, he worked in the Air Force for an approximate of 20 years. He got through to the NTA and then he is currently working in defense in UAE. So that obviously had a major factor in as to what I am today. So one of those factors which determine as to why I'm here, as to why I got to the point where I am is my parents, as discussed before, as to what they did uh, for me. Then again, if you are wondering as to what it really stands for, being a pilot, it, it's, it's, it's quite different from what you'd find normally. Because here, when you're becoming a pilot, you get a carpet with the best views around a carpet which literally moves everywhere, and one which you can control almost 100%. You have the full authority. So that's what means to become a pilot. You take full responsibility, you control, and it's always about, and when I, when I say this, is, there's no factor of risk. It's always about getting the people. Now, there's a saying that the best landing ever is a landing which you can walk away from. So as long as you say, as long as you can land an aircraft, they say that's the best landing. Now, when it comes to a commercial pilot, it's about landing as smooth as possible, and it's, it's about landing in such a way that it's adhering the company policy. So when you're be talking about becoming a pilot, it's about working as a team, which is something that I got from Silver Hills, working as a team in the sense I was one of the house captains, which also contributed as to what I am today. Because when, it talks, when you talk about becoming a pilot, as I told you before, it's about attitude. And being an Indian, it comes naturally. Attitude and the way we respect others and all those things for that matter. Because when you meet lots of different people, you find the culture at times disturbing. There can be a lot of people around, like for example, not Koreans. Koreans in the sense, they have this uh, habit of respecting others while kneeling, which again is more or less similar to the Indian culture. But then again, it's always about showing the right attitude to that and always respecting one's cultures. The same stands for people all around the world. The same for Italians and Americans. Each have different cultures and different motives that, go, that they go with. For, uh, for example, the Americans. When we talk about the Americans, it's just that they have something, what do you call, a decisive mentality. They always come to addition as soon as possible. Now, I'm not saying that's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing. Now, that's something not known to Indians because we always think twice before doing something. So there are factors like this. But as, as long as in aviation, it's always about attitude. No matter the skills, no matter what you are and no matter what you do, if you have the right attitude, 
you'd survive. That is aviation. Aviation is low, but if you have the right attitude, everything will work out. Simply said, that is aviation. And if you're looking for now something that I think might be helpful to all of you people would be some one of those things that we professionally use is called FODEC. It's what we call facts, options, risks, decision, execute, and check. So it's just that we use this simple way to make a decision on board if something happens. Now, I'm just saying this very thing is known to us, to, known to for pilots as one of those things that we use for decision making when things become hard to decide. So that both the pilots, given the fact that we work in a multi, uh, multi crew environment, come to the same decision. Facts in the sense we'll discuss about all facts, what's pertaining to it. Options, we'll discuss all options one by one. Risk, the same for both the pilots. Each have their own stand as to what the risks are. And then we go for decision. Decision is when the one who stands at the top, the one who commands almost of it, makes a decision. And that is with respect to the one that had given up the points for options. And then we execute the same. After execution, it's a check by both the people. So I'd say this can be brought into normal day-to-day -day life. When you're getting confused as to what the decision is or what you have to do at this point, you can always incorporate FODIC. Now, it's not much. It's a simple technique that we use in aviation. It could differ with time, but as of like, as of like right now, it's what we use. Now, talking about career decision to the future generation, now, I would not recommend anything at, as of this point because the right decision or the right career for them would be what they truly desire. And as for my case, it was always been to do something related to aviation, related to flying. And that is why I choose this decision. Now, even though a lot of factors has pointed me to the direction of being a doctor or something like that, but it's just that to me, I never wanted to do that. So I'd say if you're thinking about joining aviation, if you're thinking about becoming a pilot, think about it. It's not an easy job, but it's a training job. You'd have to work continuously. There's no thing called uh, mental, mental checkup or something like that available, even though you've been trained and you've been tested on it. So it's always about keeping your mind straight and doing the right thing at the right time. One other thing about aviation, it's always about multitasking. Most people think it's just about flying. It's not just about flying. It's about multitasking. It's about talking to different people, doing different things at the same time, controlling different things. Now, the right career for you, as I said before, is the one that you truly desire, the one that you're happy to work with, the one which will always and always make you proud of. So that's about it from my part. Wishing you all the great in your future endeavors and your future careers. Then again, I wish the very best of you from your perspective as to what you want to become. And that's about it. Thank you so much for having me here on this very stage. In fact, very happy to be here back at my very own school where I studied from. Great to meet all the teachers and the very extraordinary and the very amazing uh, Father John Manarthur. Thank you very much for all. Thank you.